on this part we are going to learn how to add a new producer to the database. For that we are going to first update the producers controller, we are going to add a new view and at the end we are going to check if everything works as expected. We are going to start by first adding the create button at the bottom right of the page. For that I'll just go to the solution explorer and copy the existing button in the index.csharp html in the actors folder. So now I'll just scroll down, then copy this button, control C, go back to the index.csharp html for the producers and then just paste the button in here. And then change the ASP controller to be the producers controller, so producers. If you want, you can also remove the ASP controller from here because you are within the index file inside the producers folder. So let us close the first index.csharphtml, then save the changes in here. So whenever the user clicks on this button, we are going to redirect them to the action create within the producers controller. Now, to create a producer or to create basically any entity, we have two steps. In the first step, we just display to the users an empty view. And this is a simple get request. And after the user fills in all the data and then clicks the create button, then we send a post request to the producers controller. So let us go to the producers controller. And then here we are going to create the first action result and this is going to be a simple action result it will be a get here we are going to have producers and then just create so down here we have a public i action result then create and then inside here we are just going to return a view so let us go and add the create view and for that i'm going to use the create view from the actors.csharp html, control A, control C, then go to the solution explorer, inside the producers, just right click, then go to add a new view, add, we're going to name this view create, and then click the add button. So let us select all, remove, and then paste the code. Now let us scroll up in here and simply change the actor model to be a producer model and then update the title to be add a new producer then scroll down in here you can see that after the user fills in everything we are going to submit a post request to the create action result and in here we also have some validation so if you want you can just go to the producer dot c sharp so the c sharp class and then here you can add some requirements which we are going to use to check if the model state is valid. So for example, for the profile picture, you can just set this field to be a required field and if the user doesn't provide a value, you can just display an error message which says the profile picture is required. You can also set the full name field to be required, so the full name is required, so control C, and also the biography. So in here for the biography, we can set that the biography is required, so biography. So in here we have the bio, we have the full name, and up here we have the profile picture URL. Now here you can also add other requirements for these properties, like for example you can set the full name to be a maximum length of 50 chars, a minimum of 3, and if this condition is not met then the error message is going to be the full name must be between 3 and 50 chars. So let us save the changes in here and go to the producers controller. In the producers controller now we are going to create another action result. We are going to use this action result to handle the post request from the create view. So for that I'll just type in here HTTP post because this is going to be an HTTP post request. And then in here we are going to type public async, then task 
I action result and the name is going to be create and we are going to bind just the properties that we need. So we are going to bind in here the properties for the producer. So the producer model, let us import the namespace, the tickets.models. And we are just going to name the producer just producer. Then inside here, the first thing that we need to check is that we need to check if the model state is valid. So if the model state that is valid, and we have the explanation mark in here. So if the model state is not valid, then we are going to just return the view. So the same view, the create view, but now we are going to pass as a parameter the producer. Otherwise, we're just going to use the await underscore service that add async method and pass the parameter the producer. And then at the end, we're just going to return the redirect to action. So we're just going to redirect the users to the index view. So now I'll just type name of and then index action result. In the bind section, we have said that we are going to bind just the properties that we need. So if you just right click on the producer and pick the definition, we can see that the producer has an ID, which we do not need because that is going to be generated when we add a producer to the database. But we are going to bind the profile picture URL, the full name and biography. So in here, we are going to have the profile picture URL, the full name, and the bio property. So let us save the changes and run this project to see if everything works as expected. So let us go in here to management and then in here go to producers. Here at the bottom right, we can see that we have the add new button. So let us click that button. Down here for the new producer, we need to provide a profile picture, a full name and a biography. So let us first provide a profile picture. And if you select, for example, the actors, you can just change in here from actors to producers, then let's say producer, so producer to dot JPEG. And you have producer pictures from one to five that you can use to test your app. Then if you click away, this is the producer. Let us provide a full name. So let us say test producer. And then if you do not provide the biography, let us click the create button without providing the biography. You'll see that we get an error which says that the biography is required and that is coming from the required data annotation in the producer model. So let us just provide in here a test biography but change the first one to be just two chars and then click the create button. Now you'll see that the full name must be between three and 50 chars. So let us just change this back to be test producer and then click the create button one more time. Now, if you scroll down in here, you'll see that we have the test producer.